I think that um, I should have chosen the uh, <laughs> the uh, right input because I recorded a five minute movie with uh, no sound, um, just my lips moving, and I really don't think that uh, the people who have sub subscribed would appreciate reading my lips for five minutes. Um, it might give you all a headache. I don't know. I can be a headache sometimes. Anyway, now that I know that I'm getting sound, I'm going to mute my um, output. And I want to quickly, um, through for the next maybe five minutes, express my thoughts on the Mac that I bought in February of 2010. For those of you who know, I got a Mac in uh, 2010 uh, because I wanted to um, you know, do my music work on it, uh, take class notes, have a faster computer. Um, I had to run Windows on it because most of my programs do work on Windows and, you know, I can't yet afford Pro Tools and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who might be wondering why everything is going crazy, I am. I, do, I am not good at doing a videos for one reason, and that's because I'm blind. I can't really see what's going on. Um, just get out of some of these so that I can get out of, um, for those of you who might not know, the Mac comes with its own screen reader called the VoiceOver, and I would do demos, except I'm having issues with Audio Hijack Pro. So... Um, my thoughts on a Mac, um, I'd have to give it a 90%, and that's, that's because I've had issues with the voiceover, like it freezing on me, and I either have to power cycle, or use, uh, uh, what is that, one command, v VO plus command plus F8 to start the quick guide, voiceover, um, quick start guide, rather, and the... Um, and then hit escape. If you'll excuse me, I've got major, major allergies, and I... Unfortunately, there is no pause button on the, uh... On the Mac, or on the, uh, QuickTime thing, so you're s I'm stuck. I I'm just getting ready to upload, so sorry about any, um, odd things you might see there on the screen, uh, like a Google page. <laughs> I'm trying to get to YouTube. There it is. Um, so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, the backdrop you're seeing is a wall because, you know, that that's just what's going on and there's a picture frame off to the right. But anyway, my views on a Mac, 90%. It's stable. It's reliable. I think I've only had to restart it maybe once or twice when I've had to. Um, I do not shut it down often. Um, voiceover is very stable, except for when it freezes, um, when you're reading a large document or when you're, um, arrowing through a long list of, um, folders, it will freeze. And also, the mail program is great, except there is no warning, there is no way to disable the warning that I'm sending a message without a subject. I know many people hate the fact that there is no subject in an email. But that's another rant for another day. Um, I can't really think of anything else to say rather than um, um, there will be some more videos up maybe regarding um, not just Mac, whatever, but my music. And hopefully I can get some demo stuff. And sorry for the movement, if those of you who are seasick by now. Sorry about that. Um... But, uh, yeah, my thoughts on the Mac. Um, it's good. It... is very stable. Like I said, voiceover is very stable, except for when it, um, freezes, and Apple has to get that fixed. I heard that, uh, OS 10.2, uh, 10.6.2, I think is what we're running, um, is riddled with some bugs, and I did not expect perfection when I bought the Mac. As I told someone on Skype, I did not expect perfection at all. Otherwise, I would not be using a computer. I probably wouldn't even be alive if I were expecting perfection.
uh, with anything nowadays. Um, it's, you know, everything's riddled with bugs. But um, that's about it. I'm going to hopefully have sound this time. Uh, and I'm probably going to export this to the higher end um, computer, you know, with a 5 megabit per second and, you know, lower. Um, so, oh, 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 if anyone knows how to convert the MOV from QuickTime into MP3 for audio, because when I recorded an audio thing, just specifically an audio thing through QuickTime, it saved it as an MOV. And that, yeah, I did not have a way to convert that. So if someone can let me know through the comments page how to convert the QuickTime MOV stuff into MP3, that be that would be well appreciated. Um, so that that's it. Um, that's my comments, uh, my rambling. My hopefully that made some kind of sense. Comments, questions, suggestions are welcome. Anything rude, and I will find a way to. Uh, block you because um, you know we live in a world of respect hopefully and we gotta respect each other no matter how bad of a job we do on YouTube alright guys take care of yourselves uh, be safe be blessed and I'll see you guys later on questions comments on uh, what I can do next because I don't know what I'm doing in regards to YouTube and videos so um, uh, enjoy what you see there so far, <clears throat> and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!